Hi there, I'm Cyan and welcome to Something Sciency. To celebrate the 10th episode, and that's not including the little extra episodes, I thought I'd do something a little different. And as I was coming up with ideas, I was also watching Jurassic World, and so I thought, Dinosaur Parasite! Of course, dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, and parasites are all squishy, so they don't make very good fossils. So a lot of our understanding about dinosaur parasite is found in a very roundabout way. First of all, let's start with the mosquito. Although not a parasite in itself, the mosquito transmits many parasitic diseases today. If any of my viewers have watched Jurassic Park, they'll have seen the mosquito trapped in amber that contains dinosaur blood. However, there is a debate among scientists as to whether mosquitoes were able to prey upon large dinosaurs as the thick skin would be hard to penetrate with the mouth parts of mosquitoes today. Not to mention, the mosquito found in John Hammond's cane in the film is male, and as we know from the malaria episode, male mosquitoes don't drink blood. But mosquitoes aren't the only hematophagous insects out there, that is, insects that drink blood. In fact, dinosaurs had fleas. Not the sort of fleas you may find on your pet dog or cat, but giant ambush fleas. There were well-preserved fossils found in China of flea species Pseudoplex magnus and Pseudoplex jurassicus. They measured up to 22 millimetres, which is over twice the size of la the largest modern-day fleas. They don't have the spring legs of modern-day fleas, meaning they didn't jump from host to host. Instead, it is thought that they lay in wait, ready to ambush a passing dino that stops to feed. Unlike the mosquito, the mouthparts of these fleas were large and powerful, capable of biting through the tough skin of the dinosaur. Fleas are a rare case where the adult parasite is preserved. This is because fleas live outside the body and therefore have hard outer parts for survival that can be fossilised. If we think about internal parasites found today, we know that many release egg cases or cysts in the faeces, and dinosaur poo can be fossilised into a substance called coprolite. When samples of coprolite were examined by the scientists, they found evidence of protozoans, nematodes and trematodes, which are very similar to parasites today. But of course, we don't know how this affected the dinosaurs. Would it make them ill? Would they die from infection? Did they notice at all? It's likely that we'll never know. There is one final prehistoric parasite that I'd like to share with you today. It looks very similar to a protozoan bird parasite seen today called Trichomonas gallinae, which causes lesions and ulcers in the bird's throat and mouth. Tyrannosaurus rex fossils show holes in their bones. Some of them are tooth marks from face biting contests, but some are too large and too smooth to be anything other than parasite formed ulcers. One particularly nasty case was found in a T Rex called Sue. This parasite is thought to be passed on during the face biting fights or by eating infected dead meat. I hope you enjoyed that. Please be sure to subscribe for the video that will be coming out on the first Thursday of the month. There is also another video on the third Thursday where I'll be answering any comments or questions that you may have, so please write them in the comment box below or you can tweet me at ask underscore cyan. Also, like this video if you like it. Um, as always, you've come for the science. Now, stay for the song. Uh, this uh, is a song that I've written about this episode. I call it the Prehistoric Parasite Raptor. <laughs> Prehistoric parasites not seen anymore. Prehistoric parasites making the dinosaur. Whoa. Yeah, I'm talking about the late Cretaceous when mosquitoes weren't all that but still dinos were dying of parasitic disease maybe vectored by giant ambush fleas now unlike one fleas these bats ran like rubber had killer mandibles it was me mother sucker we know that they were big because they were fossil lions if they were alive today i'd be terrified prehistoric parasites not seen anymore prehistoric parasites making the Trematode, trematode, we don't know, found a poo 125 million years ago. Did the dinos get sick and die when they felt the worms wriggle? Were they many meters long or a teeny tiny squiggle? And my friend the Tyrannosaurus had holes in its jaws. Some were smaller ragged from fights with teeth and claws, but some were transmitted from a cannibalistic buffet from the ulcers and lesions from Trichomonas gallinae. It's prehistoric parasites, not seen anymore. from
so long ago and squishy to live inside we'll never know what they were like unless we travel back in for watching. Bye! <laughs> I'm not having too much fun. What are you talking about?